My number one focus is targeting gangs. And there's a reason for that. They are committing conservatively 75 to 80 percent of all of the violent crime that we are seeing within our community. But be aware that you have the right to remain silent and not incriminate yourself while you are there and anywhere else anything that you say can be used against you. They pull up like right here. They would just soon it like, you know, sideways behind the car. You better watch the way you breathe around me for that breath be your last boy. Smith and Wesson 45 put a hole in his heart, better not play with me. Killers stay with me. I shot at his mommy. Now he no longer mentioned me. What the hell is going on with YSL? Why did y'all let Young Thug record that song? And why did y'all let him release it? Social media is a wonderful tool for prosecutors in every indictment we bring nowadays. What's up fam? This your boy Cut to the Chase TV. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and be sure to share this video. I got some news for you niggas today. New details have emerged into the YSL Rico case after reports are stating that YSL co-founder admitted to everything and would be a key witness against Young Thug in this upcoming Rico trial. It's over for Young Thug and I knew it was over when we all got excited that he was only facing 8 charges. What nigga you know happy to go to trial for 8 charges? Now I get he was facing 65 so they threw 57 charges out but it's still 8 charges in a RICO trial. Now we know all his co-defendants is taking plea deals. Slime like shoddy, YSL Obama, we all call Gunner a rat, Tattletale, snitch, we all said he ate the cheese but let's be real, he only vaguely snitched. Until he gets specific details about Young Thug crimes we can't really call him a snitch. Until he take the stand and give testimony that targets Young Thug illegal activity, we can't call him a rat. Now I get he was riding in the car with Young Thug. They had some work in the car. He refused to take the charges. I don't blame him, cause I'm looking at it like this from Gunner. If it's not his, why do he have to take the charges? Can y'all tell me that? There's no honor, there's no pride. You're not gonna feel real good about it. Think about it, when we was kids, if your mama got on to us about something we did and we really didn't do it, we're telling our brother, man, mama ain't do that, and brother did that. We'll be arguing with our brother about something small. So what would you think Gunner would do that? It's not going to happen. So he just vaguely told. Didn't really get details, didn't really get times, locations. We can, we, can, we, can, we can roll with that, Gunner. Because trust me when I tell you this, Gunner admitting that YSL is a gang is the least of Young Thug worries. Gunner saying that YSL need to be taken off the street is the least of Young Thug worries. Because this latest witness, YSL co-founder Antonio Sledge, his testimony is the one that's going to put Young Thug away for life. His testimony is the one that's going to put the nail in Young Thug coffin. Because think about it, he's a co-founder. YSL, Young Slime Life, admitted that it was a game, admitted that they committed crimes, and he got 15 years probation for attempted murder charge. I know felons who got caught with firearms who got more time than that. What type of stuff is this? Now, I get it, it's a plea deal, but how can you go from facing 30 years in prison for attempted murder charge to 15 years probation because you told on your thumb? I don't like the way this case is going. Antonio Sledge is a violent gangster turned informant that got 15 years probation for attempted murder all because he told on your thug. Not only did he tell on your thug, he also submitted evidence. He said he was in them group chats when your thug ordered to hit a wife and Lucci manager. He said he was in them group chats when your thug was talking about moving dope he needed his money. So he's a damn good witness. So we ain't gotta speculate. We ain't gonna say if he get called up by the state for testimony. He's definitely getting called to testify against your thug because he have the evidence that's gonna put your thug away from life it don't get no better than this for the prosecution you got a co-founder of YSL young thug right hand man main hitter attempted murder charge and he gonna get up here and say young thug made us do it now I'm all about criminals being held accountable I'm all about criminals going to jail but I don't like the way this is going everybody get off scot-free because they told on young thug let's be real these are grown men these ain't little kids, these ain't 13 year olds. If we can charge a 14, 13 year old as an adult, how can we have grown men admit to what they doing? We can't just throw it off on your thug. You got a brain, you can say no. If I told you to do it, you wouldn't do it. But when your thug say do it, now everybody say, oh, we had no choice. Y'all supposed to be hard on the streets. Supposed to be growling at niggas. I gotta cross the street when I see y'all, but when you get in court, you won't even take responsibility. 
You throw it all on your thug so you can get off Scott's free. And shame on the state for letting this happen. And shame on Antonio Sledge as well. Antonio Sledge is so cold at snitching that his written statements got everybody shot. Listen to this. Let's go. Antonio Sledge, he is actually the co-founder of the gang that's who alleged to have existed in this case, YSL. And he's also known as Mount Tonk. And he was he will testify and has signed off on statements that YSL is indeed a gang. He will testify that drive by shootings were committed, murders, uh, really awful things and acknowledge the involvement of Young Thug in this case. So see, he is openly admitting that YSL is a gang. They committed crimes, they was involved in murder, and he will openly also talk about Young Thug involvement as well. It's over with, but let's continue. That could be pretty damning evidence. This one was the most shocking for me as I've been watching the pleas come down. Um, they, he admits what happens in these pleas, the, there's statements that are written out and the defendant says, yes, yes, yes. You know, agreeing that those statements are true. So. During the plea, the prosecutor is reading out a statement as as uh, you agree that YSL is a gang. And he says, yes, you agree that they have committed crimes. And he'll say, yes, and I, this, I'm just ad living this right now. But that's how these go down. So he admits that he had knowledge of drive by shootings. He has knowledge of murders and attempted murders and he, that Jeffrey Williams, a.k.a. Young Thug, had knowledge of some of this. He was That's why he's worse than Gunner. Gunner just said YSL is a gang. I seen them commit crimes. He didn't necessarily say the crimes he seen them commit, but this dude is talking about murders, drive-bys, talking about your thug is implicating some of these. He's the perfect witness. He's gonna give them evidence. He's gonna get on times and locations. He's gonna be specific with his snitching. It's not vague at all. He going out bad and he has no care in the world. Cause that 15 years probation, you will take that over 20 years for attempted murder. Anybody would. And that's why I say this whole state, this whole case is corrupt. I don't like the way it's going. So yeah, now we know that Antonio Sledge got 15 years probation in exchange for testimony against your thug about specific details. And let's listen to some of the things he told the judge. Let's go. Number seven, defendant was told by another YSL associate that immediately after the murder of Donovan Thomas Jr., YSL associates met at the McDonald's on Cleveland Avenue in Atlanta, Georgia to discuss the murder. Number eight, defendant personally knows that one or more YSL associates committed the murder of Donovan Thomas Jr. on behalf of YSL. Number nine, on Jan January the 10th, 2015, after the murder of Donovan Thomas Jr., defendant and other YSL associates gathered at the home of Jeffrey Williams, AKA Young Thug. So keep in mind, Donovan Thomas Jr. was the manager of Young Thug rival, YFN Lucci. Now, if you listen to YFN Lucci, he always talk about long live nut, RIP nut, it hurt him so much when nut died. They are alleging that Young Thug is responsible for that hit. And Antonio Sledge is a man to it. He said, yes, right after that hit, everybody met up at Young Thug house and he gave us some money to go to Miami. Listen to this. Who gave defendant and other YSL associates cash money to lay low. Number 10, defendant has personal knowledge that on January 10, 2015, after the murder of Donovan Thomas Jr., YSL Associates traveled to Miami, Florida with co-defendant and YSL founder Jeffrey Williams, a.k.a. Young Thug. Number 11, defendant did not murder Donovan Thomas Jr. and was not a party to the crime. You see that? Antonio Sledge is pointing the finger at everybody. He telling everything he know, but he made sure to say, I had nothing to do with none of this. And you know who's going to be the fall guy? Young Thug. And make no mistake about it, Antonio Sledge knows exactly what he's doing. He knows he got off scot-free. He knows he get to be a violent offender, and all he has to do is go to court and say, Young Thug did this, Young Thug did that, and his charges will be dropped to 15 years probation. Just take a look at this court clip. He's all happy. He's all excited. He's showing good mannerism. He's sitting up straight. He's saying, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. Pay attention to this ridiculous court segment. Take a look at this. Mr. Sledge, has your attorney advised you of the minimum and maximum sentence for each charge that you are pleading guilty to yes, today? See, that's what I don't like. 
on the street, this is the type of dude who will be growling at people, walking with a limp, talking about how big of a street dude he is. But in court, he's sitting up right, hands is crossed. He's looking at the judge with tears in his eyes, talking about, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Just pay attention to this. Yes, ma'am. Do you understand that the minimum sentence for conspiracy to violate the Rocketeer Influenced and Corrupt Organizations Act is five years and the maximum is 20 years in prison? Yes, ma'am. Do you understand that the sentence for violation of count 30 of this indictment, possession of a firearm by a convicted felon, as in OCGA 1611 133 is 15 years in prison. Yes, ma'am. Do you understand that this is a negotiated plea of guilty? Yes, ma'am. Which means that the state will recommend to the court the following sentence. Yes, ma'am. As see, you see that? You see, she made sure to make it clear that this is a negotiated plea. That means we're going to give you something in exchange if you give us something. So we're going to give you 15 years probation, but you damn sure have better testify against your thug.